Hi, good evening, folks. This is Cracker three, two, one, boom. Welcome. Um, there's been a lot of talk. I think, or I believe, throughout this year about the air cut and how different the first Suicide Squad film would have been. And um, today we're looking at another image of Jared Leto as the infamous character, the Joker. Um, his portrayal of the Joker has gotten so many mixed reviews. Um, my opinion, um, I have mixed feelings about him as I would I would have to say as an actor but in terms of how he portrayed the Joker I really think he did one hell of a job I really do I mean that's just my opinion and um, I think he really hit it out of the park the sad part about it is, I think many fans got robbed of seeing everything he did in Suicide Squad. Um, this picture you're seeing now is basically probably some type of makeup test, you know, because his hair isn't green yet, but, um, you know, they're doing the smile. And even this picture looks quite intense um there are so many different scenes that i don't think we ever saw the scene that i always wanted to see and i saw it in a clip was when he and margot robbie aka harley quinn were in a beautiful metallic purple lamborghini with white interior and they're driving around the city. And Ben Affleck appeared as Batman in that film as well. Um, it was a completely different film. And I can understand Jared Leto's frustration. Because when you consider all the work that was put into that one character and there were so many of them and then so much stuff just got cut on the cutting room floor but um i guess who we have to thank for that was the old regime at warner brothers the people like um walter hamada um toby emmerich they were too. They're all gone now. So, hopefully moving forward with the new regime and, of course, Dwayne Johnson heading up Black Adam, which comes out next Friday. It's definitely going to hopefully move in the right direction. But um, I just wanted to share this picture. Um, many of these pictures are actually posted on YouTube or reposted by the channel The Truth 31. And um, I thought it was just a really cool picture. And um, it just so much was done. I know there's another quite long scene between Jared Leto, Joker, and the artist, and um, I guess you could say actor too, Common, and um, that was something else that I think a lot of that got cut too, and um, I know when the Suicide Squad went up against the or the witch who I believe was played by that model who is also supposedly involved with that Spanish actress who has been in all the Fast and the Furious movies with maybe exception of one or two um, the Joker was supposed to be in that battle too 
and that wasn't there. So it gives you an idea. Um, again, it's a great picture. I really like it. it. It's one of many. I'm sure there's hundreds of stills out there and everything else. And at this point, okay, you're not going to release it in theaters. Release it on HBO. Release it on DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, whatever the formats are now, 8K. But give the fans what they want. And this movie came out a few years ago. So, see what happens. Um, this is Cracker. Uh, 3, 2, 1. Boom. Um, if you're a subscriber, um, hit the bell icon and select all. You'll know when new videos are uploaded. If you're brand new to the channel, um, welcome. Subscribe if you like. Leave a like to the video. Comment. I definitely will respond. And um, that's about it for now. Um, you can follow me on social media. I list that all below the video description. And I will see you hopefully again tomorrow with another video reaction. Thanks to everyone. Uh, have a great week. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.